welcome back to some more enshrouded right so in yesterday's video i tested out the last hollow holes with a sort of hybrid build again so i kind of want to see what i can do so i'm gonna start off this video by just uh, showing my process of what i want to do because i do want to be able to uh travel or explore with this build at the same time so we we will see obviously i want Okay, let's do a little bit of dexterity and draft. We need that. Now, I do want 50% more stamina regeneration. So we're going to go like this up. Uh, let's see, mana orbs. Mana and health potion restore 20% more. I mean, that's something. And of course, double jump. You might as well do that because jump attack is very good. Now, I do want blink, especially, especially emergency blink. Because once you get stunned, you have a high chance of dying. So let's go constitution, shiny plates, evasion attack, arcane deflection could be good. Blink and emergency blink. Right, we obviously need battle heal. Now, I do want as much strength as, as possible. So let's go with the warrior build. Now, I'm not sure if I should just spec into brute or if I should do all of them. Hmm, I guess it depends on the weapons that I will use. Let's see, strength and contribution, that could be good, and also this, yeah, I mean, hmm, it's a little bit, maybe the strength over here too, like so, that's starting to become a lot of strength. Now, let's see, let's, before we spec further, because this is cutting, piercing, and blunt, this is blunt and piercing, this is just blunt, a little bit of one damage, but again, it is blunt, hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe two-hander action too. But the best two-hander I have, ignited hammer. Hmm. Could be something. I also have the gore striker. This is just blunt, but it also has shroud, blunt, shroud, piercing, and shock. Huh. Maybe. I'm not sure. I kind of want to look not too much as a power ranger, so I'm thinking of maybe another two-hander. And I'm not sure about the two-handed axes. Let's see. I do have this thing, which is a lot of health leech. Cutting and piercing. Ah, okay. Maybe. Misfortune X. Let's give that a go. Okay, so let's spec into all of these. I'm not sure if they actually stack. It could be something. Okay, I'm starting to have less and less <laughs> options here. Let's see. Strength. Uh, heavy handed. Strength. Let's see. Constitution. I do need breach. Now, should I spec into this? Maybe. Blood Rage. That Blood Rage is very good. Let's uh, go like this. Yeah. I think this should be fine. I'm losing a little bit of strength. Now my strength is at 14. And when it comes to food, right, because I do have this. Two constitution and four strength. I definitely need that. Okay, so this could be fairly good, maybe. Loads of strength. Let's um, buff up a little bit. Now as for the armor, I kind of want to look like this. Now I do have the D-Stalker trousers because of sprint speed. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a little bit of a go, maybe. I mean, we might as well also buff up, since we do have quite a bit of potions. So, a little bit more stamina. A little bit of 30% flat up damage bonus. Now, we don't need magic damage, do we? We will see. And a little bit of shroud, sure. And probably some ice protection. And we also have the Vuka, because we found out that that was right here. Okay, so let's go there. But I think that my daughter just woke up, so we we will see. I mean, right now, 18 strength, eh? I mean, I could have gotten a little bit more if I didn't spec into blink. One second. Okay, I have placed my daughter in front of the television. Hopefully this works. <laughs> As any good father would. Yes. The TV nanny. But we will see. Okay, so 20% more damage. Right. And what about this? I mean, it is... Okay, I do... A fair bit more damage now. Let's see. And as for the rings, yeah, we still use the Gemini rings just for the uh, healing. Hmm. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's give this a go. I'm not sure. I mean, if I also get a blunt damage because this is like 20% damage versus the hollow, so it should be something. Let's see how this goes. I mean, that's a fair amount of damage. I mean, there's loads of healing, but I do need more damage. Okay. What if we equip the helmet? Yeah, that is way more damage. That's a lot of damage. Holy balls, that's a lot of damage. And even more healing, because more crit equals more healing. Oh yeah, loads of damage. That's a lot of damage. Jesus. Okay, let's get invaded by some of these little fuckers. Come at me. I mean, yeah, you just instantly heal up. 
pretty much with every hit. Okay, let's gather up these ones a little bit. I mean, yeah, it is fine damage. Now, one thing that we do need, uh, let's see, yeah, two hander. Yeah, let's give this a go. Okay, so if we gather them up a little bit, double jump and a big schmidt. Yeah, I mean, I could do more damage, but again, it wouldn't do this amount of healing. And this is, in fact, something. Oof. All the healing. I mean, I can take as much damage as I want, and every hit is just insta heal. Jesus Christ. Don't even have to do it. Oh, boy. Yeah, what about this? Oh, this is a lot of damage. Damage for days. And I mean, I would take even less damage if I used a Power Ranger set. Or, well, the Paladin set. But yeah, if we just fly straight in over me, oh, there's so much damage. So much healing. Jesus. So much healing and everything is just dying. Damage for days. And also right here, yeah, this is where I found that secret area. Uh, let's see, I can see squat. Okay, come on, give me something awesome. Hawk boots, you say. Okay, strange. I know there's this another secret door in there, but it wasn't anything, I think. This is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, let's let's just do a little bit like so. Just hug the feet. Doesn't matter if I take damage. Oh yes, all the damage is healed up instantly. basically don't have to even think. And that's the boss down. Ah, oh, so much damage. And this is just with a one-hander. Not even the best one-hander. Okay, give me something. Eh, give us something. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, no, this, this is definitely the immortal build I should use. I see, gloom trousers, sure thing. Use up a lot of durability, that I do. Yeah, let's just get these little fuckers. Just gather them up, and I mean, I can just go like this. Right? Or screech. I mean, they are not getting one shot. If you want to one shot them, then you use the ignited hammer. But still, it is extremely good. No need for potions or anything. I mean, I am buffed up to the teeth. I mean, the best food and best everything. But yeah, damn this. This is definitely a win. You bastard. Damn. Oh, I wonder how much damage I could actually do. Let's see. Ah, uh, not what I wanted, but that is fine. Yeah, and I don't have any mana regeneration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This was good. This was very good. Yeah, no, this is definitely something. I don't... I'm not too much a fan of the helmet, but still, 15% just more damage. And 12% critical strike damage. Oh, I mean, you kind of need the helmet if you want to do it as easily as this. But, again, you could... Oh, oh, oh boy, this is a good build. Okay, let's travel home. I mean, I could finish the dungeon, but I've done that so many times already. And I think that the run that I just did is fairly good. A fairly good run if uh, you just want to get the loot, and then you can just reset. Okay, let's reflect a little bit, because a lot of people have wanted me to do a proper build guide. No, I don't consider this a proper one. Again, I'm just testing stuff. Like, if I skipped on getting Blink and maybe updraft and all of this stamina stuff, I mean, I would get even more constitution and more strength. I could go further into... Uh, yeah, I could go a lot further into tanking. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a way to make this better. But yeah, let's have a look-see. As for the weapons, I mean, just these weapons. That, that, that's it, you get... Uh, you get these two and that one, just from any legendary chest in the Kindle Waste. I don't uh, my, my preference is the one right here. I do believe that this gives better loot. Like they did something with update. But yeah, the chest that looks like these ones and not just the pure gold ones. I feel like they do give better stuff. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. And for the other weapons, just random drops from the Kindle Waste Hollow Halls. Now as for the potions, I mean the only thing that you really want is probably the 30% damage multiplier, and I did find a very neat place for that in, right, you know, Ancient Spire of Revelwood, fastest way to take. Now, let's see, 
if I go into my character, because the Gemini ring seems to work like a charm, but again, since they nerfed the ring of veracity, which co coincidentally you also get at Willow's Crush, it is very good to have some mana regeneration. Yeah, I mean, the mana regens fast enough, and since you can no longer use updraft multiple times in one flight, I mean, it's, it's enough. Okay, let's land right here. Let's see, okay, so it should be building right here. I do believe. Let's see, where's the entrance? Okay, you need a lockpick in order to open this, or a bomb. Yeah, I do believe this is the one. Yeah, right here. Here you get three of the mysterious flasks. And then if you just place a flame altar right outside of this one, log in and out, and then you get more. So yeah, Willow's Crush, right there. Now, I do believe that I showed enough of the talents, maybe. I mean, again, we can just go through it one more time. Of course, you still want updraft, because this is a build that works for exploration and I did get rebound which gives me 50% more stamina regeneration and double jump is I mean it's essential for uh, traversal but yeah the jump attack works great too again as for the warrior you just put in everything for warrior and you're good to go it seems like it does stack and it is a great way to have an all-around melee build in case some enemies are resistant to either damage and then we went all the way up here to get blood rage all right now we also got blink because i do enjoy having the opportunity to just you know blink out of being stunned but you don't really need it and you don't need all of this stamina either it's just something that i prefer when exploring yeah because my stamina regeneration is uh, it is decent it could be better with that other gear or at least the eagle eye boots yeah and as for the gear i mean just full soldier set except for the deerstalker trousers the soldier chest you can get at you can craft at the blacksmith and the deerstalker trousers you can tr craft at the hunter ethereal plane shield i mean you don't really need a shield for this you could and yeah the rings were just the gemini rings Oof, now this is a good build maybe i I'm, i mean i'm gonna test it out the only downside to this is that whenever you walk you do sound like you have uh, a pocket full of change loose change and I'm not too much of a fan of that. I mean, I could do this, but again, it doesn't look... Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. That is not. Okay, and now you don't sound like you have change in your pocket. I don't really think that <laughs> these go together. I do enjoy the Warlock. Yeah, I mean, but that's a flat out 15% less damage. As for the boots, I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't really need boots either. Okay, so maybe it works with this set too. But the problem with this set... As good as it looks, Spellbinder chest to get from any level 23 chest. I would suggest Brittle Brush, Wall of Groves, craftable at the Alchemist, the Stalker Trousers, again craftable at the Hunter, and Eli Boots, lootable from any silver or golden chest in the Kindle Waste level 25 area. Yeah, I mean, hmm, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Now the two-hander, hmm, I'm not really sure if the two-hander is worth it, so um, that goes back in the chest, I think. Yeah, and we're gonna change that for probably fire. I mean, we're not specced into wand, but it's very good to have a wand and a bow just for ranged attacks. Yeah, and as for the food, I mean, only really the open sandwich is the one that you should supplement. But again, for exploration, I do enjoy the boiled eggs just for the stamina regeneration and a little bit of mana. Yeah, so there we have it. A very, very good build time. Okay, so, but I think that should do it for today. My daughter is starting to get fuzzy. So, as always, until next time.